how you feel about this, this specific project of this geotech in its limited scope of these 13 holes. Um, we reached out to the, to the Native Hawaiian organizations, that's who I personally sent the invites to, to consult uh, on this, this undertaking. Um, we need your comments. We have, we'll, 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 we'll have a transcript so we can go through your comments in the transcript. And we need this, I know it's a lot, but, and, and you can send it to us also on August 3rd. Because what I'm going to do is I, get, I need to submit all this to the State Historical and Preservation Division. Remember I talked about the permit. So we have the permit to do the right of entry. But part of the permit is to get the ship deed to buy off on, we're not going to do any disturbance to anything. And that's why we did the archaeological survey for these limited 13 holes. So when I submit the report, I get the final report, the consultation, your comments, the consultations in, in your comments. Uh, we expect there'll be a finding of no effect because we're not going to dig these 13 holes anywhere near these two locations. Uh, we'll have the monitors there. I'll probably be there personally. And you know, I was there during the during the, uh, the walking of 160 acres. Observed that. Was out there with me a couple weeks. It was fantastic work. I enjoyed it. I enjoyed the AL and watching them cut that back and do the mapping. It was fantastic and very interesting to me. I just I loved it. Uh, I'm personally a biologist. Uh, so anyway, and then the monitoring plan, which is extremely important. I, the state has a copy of, of the monitoring plan. We're going to update that plan based on the work that was done during the survey. And then get ship these concurrence based on all, when they look at all this information, they can go forward with this very limited geotechnical testing. And that's the procedure after this meeting. Ma'am. You never said why you have to dig 13 holes. What is the purpose of that's doing that? That's a good point. Absolutely. Yeah. All right. What, what's the whole point of this limited geotech is to find out if that location is even Speaking. possible for any future development, not, not development, any future DOD, whether it be the radar, I'm also the EIS manager for the radar, or anything. We have to see, because you may dig a hole in there and it may be a big void. There may be a cavity under there, or the compactness may be where it just won't support any buildings or any any uh, construction. That's important. That's what the 13 holes are for, to give us that basic idea so they can go into the people, the smart geological people and the facilities people, and that will tell them the compactness. That will tell them all this type of thing to see if it's even possible to go forward with that site as a viable site for anything. Bible site for, for what? I mean, I understand well, the, the testing. Did you want me on the record? No. Okay. Um, testing for, you talk, this testing, I understand that. Yes. What you're saying here. But testing for what? What is the vision? It's not, you don't want to test just a test. No. The vision is. What is. I'm sorry. The the yeah. Yeah. Um, it could be for, for, for any future. Right now we're looking at, as you know, because we were here just today, my first, I was personally here with the team that did the scoping on the environmental impact statement for, for a proposed radar on missile defense. This is one of three proposed locations for a possibility of that radar. So part of the reason this geotech is, is to see if it's possible for this radar, but possible for anything. It doesn't have to be this radar, it may be something else. Yes, buildings. You want to build things. You cannot structure from there. It's impossible. I can't hear you. No, I just said what the, what you guys really want to do. You want to build something there. You want to have. You want to make the test, and you want to make real things, and you want to make housing. But you have. You can do whatever else, but not there. It's not. The military occupies twenty-two point four percent of the land on Oahu alone. Oahu alone. I mean, you, the go U.S. government. Started stealing land in 1893, and it's done nothing but take and take and take. And it's left their trash, it's left unexploded mm -hmm. ordinances, I mean, enough. This thing goes in, we're going to be surrounded by the military. I've seen troops training, walking down the middle, the middle of the street in full packs and gear, going out for dog patrol. And it's like, whoa, not the sidewalk, and not the sidewalk, on how they need to be children. What 
is going on here? I mean, I, you know, I was, I feel for the truth of what this woman said. I, my grandfather was MacArthur's personal physician during World War II. My brother was a ranger. Both of 